What's up guys? This is Tai Zen. I'm uh, south of the city of Atlanta right now and just cruising around checking out Georgia trying to get to know the state a little bit more. Um, I haven't changed my mind about it. There's nothing but trees here and more and more trees as you can see right there out the window. That's all you see here in Atlanta is trees. Even when you're inside the city there's nothing but trees. Okay, so if you're a tree lover and you're one of those tree huggers and you love trees, I encourage you to come to Atlanta, Georgia because you will find a lot of trees. Okay, anyway, um, in this video, guys, uh, I want to share with you guys um, some best practices and some do's and don'ts uh, in, if you are interested in becoming a cryptocurrency uh, vlogger on YouTube like myself and leonfood.com. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions lately from people asking us if they should, uh, if it's a good idea for them to start their own YouTube channel. And you guys know, if you guys have watched my, uh, uh, one of my uh, uh, life-changing finance videos about, you know, uh, ask for forgiveness, not for permission, um, I have a firm belief that if you want to succeed with money, with finances, with women, with dating, with relationships, with men, uh, you need to just go and do it and don't ask anyone for permission. Just go do it and then ask for forgiveness later, all right? So the, uh, <laughs> my wife is cracking up over here. She thinks that's hilarious, right? Um, anyway, so I, I want to share, so I think the best way for me to uh, share the best practices of uh, building a successful YouTube channel, a uh, successful uh, cryptocurrency YouTube channel, is just to go through uh, probably a series of, of uh, questions that you would probably want to ask me on how to get your YouTube channel successful, okay? Um, and um, best practices, okay? So along the way, I'll share my thoughts and I'll share some questions that you may have in your head and, and, and go along the way, okay? So um, who should start a YouTube channel uh, and blog about cryptocurrencies? Obviously, it's people who have, uh, uh, that are traders, that are investors, or technologists or reporters and journalists that uh, have an interest in cryptocurrencies and have a passion for it and you would talk about if you're the type of people that would talk about cryptocurrencies in a public venue and talk about it for free even if you don't get paid for it uh, you are the correct and right person to become a cryptocurrency vlogger on YouTube okay so uh, in case you're new to uh, uh, vlogging uh, on YouTube, the word vlogging comes from the word video and blogging, and they combine it together. So instead of say video blogger, they just call it vlogger with a V. All right. So, um, so if you have a passion for cryptocurrencies and bitcoins and stuff like that, then it's worth your time. Uh, it would be worth it for you to consider uh, starting a YouTube channel. Okay. Now, what kind of video equipment do you need? Or what kind of microphones do you need? I would recommend that you just start with your cell phone and nothing more, that's it. You start with your cell phone and then you make a policy where uh, every 30 videos, you'll upgrade to a new piece of hardware, okay? So like, if you don't have a microphone right now, don't worry about it. Uh, start vlogging about, make some videos first that are um, and then put it up and then after you make the first 30 videos then you can decide what uh, hardware or camera equipment or microphone that you need uh, to improve you do not need to get crazy and buy all this expensive video and audio equipment if you cannot uh, create videos with your smartphone something is wrong that means you're just lazy and you're trying to be perfect okay uh, the key to success uh, on YouTube is what's uh, known as done is better than perfect okay uh, the idea that getting it done is more important than getting it perfect so if you want to become a vlogger you need to start making videos and share your ideas thoughts and opinions with other people okay um, 
And then after you do that, then the second piece of equipment that I would get would be a wired microphone or a directional microphone. A wired microphone is something like this, okay? Um, something like this. Uh, this is a pretty decent brand. Um, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it will work, okay? Um, it has like a um, two microphones on there, so if I have this, me and Leon or someone else is in the car, if I want to microphone them and get them on the audio, I can use that. Uh, when I'm by myself, I tend, uh, this is too much hassle for me to set up uh, to plug in the wire and everything. So what I do is uh, I use what's called a, a Rode mic. Uh, I think the name of it is called the Rode Mic Me, uh, M-E. Michael Echo, okay? Uh, the name of the, the brand is called Rode, R-O-D-E, and the name of this, mic the, the, this directional microphone that's plugged into my uh, Samsung S7 phone right now is called a Rode Mic Me, M-E, okay? And what it does is it's, it's a directional microphone and it only picks up audio that comes from in front of it. So right now, if you guys see this uh, steering wheel here, the microphone is literally like an inch behind the steering wheel and my mouth is probably about uh, 13, 14 inches from the steering wheel and the microphone is about two inches behind the steering wheel. So there's a total of about maybe 16, seven, no more than 16, 17 inches between the microphone, the directional microphone and my mouth so that it picks up all the sound from here and all the road noise it kind of drowns it out so that you guys don't hear it. Now, I prefer this microphone better simply because it's convenient. I just put it in my pocket, I don't have to deal with wires or anything, and I just plug it in and I just start talking. And it pretty much, I aim it at my, my face and it picks up the audio uh, fairly well. You still get some background uh, uh, road noise, but it's not enough to uh, distract the audience. The, the key to making good videos is having good audio so that the audience can hear you. Um, even if it's bad, it doesn't matter, okay? Uh, and I'll give you an example, all right? So if I were to put my thumb on the microphone, the, the video here, and you guys don't see my face, as long as you can hear my voice and hear it clearly, it really doesn't matter. Now, if I add uh, some clean, some, you know, half-assed, decent, clear video to it, then it makes it a lot better, okay? But you do not need to go out of your way and be a James Cameron or some movie director to make these videos. I'm really serious, guys. Put up your phone and just start talking into it. You don't even need the microphone that I'm talking about until you make about 30 videos. Because after 30 videos, you will have made enough videos to make enough mistakes and see the things that you like and you dislike, and then you can make adjustments then, okay? So do that. Now, there are different personalities um, on YouTube that blog about cryptocurrencies. Uh, I'll give you, you know, my myself uh, as the example, myself and um, and um, and um, LeonFood.com, right? There are four different personalities that are available in broadcasting that I would recommend that you guys consider. And um, I learned this uh, from one of my uh, uh, marketing uh, mentors uh, named uh, Frank Kern. Okay. Uh, and um, he said that there's four types of personalities that you want to use when you're broadcasting to get people to like you and trust you, okay? The uh, first person, and I'll give you guys, I'll explain to you what those four personalities are, and then I'll give you an example of each of them uh, so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the first personality uh, that's available in broadcasting or in journalism is what's called the um, the professional uh, journalist or the professional reporter, okay? So someone like uh, LeonFood.com would be considered a professional um, reporter or a, report, a professional journalist simply because he is a professional software engineer. Um, he used to work at like two dozen different um, uh, software companies and they pay him you know, uh, a good income for him to create software for them as a software engineer. So when he talks about 
cryptocurrencies, he's talking from the perspective of a professional. So because of that, you know, people like him and they relate to him and they trust him. Another example of someone like that is the, uh, the Asian guy uh, who's also from the city of Austin, Texas, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, is a guy named Jimmy Song, who is a uh, Bitcoin core developer, and he's very popular on uh, Mad Bitcoin's channel and on World uh, Crypto Network's channel uh, by Thomas Hunt, and his name is Jimmy Song, and he's been like the key figure that's been updating the community with explaining how SegWit and all the uh, uh, Bitcoin improvement proposals work. He's the guy that is very similar in broadcasting style as uh, my uh, buddy uh, LeonFu.com. Not because they're both Asians and they're both software engineers, okay? <laughs> that, that would, on the surface, that would look like that would be the obvious reason, but that's not the reason, okay? Okay, the sun is uh, down far enough to go ahead and take these glasses off. I don't like making videos with glasses on, but anyway. So those two guys are considered like professionals. So when the audience listens to those two guys, they, they consider them uh, a professional reporters and journalists, okay? Now, the other, a second type of reporting style is what I, uh, is, is, is what's known as the, uh, the guy next door or the average Joe or the Joe lunch bucket, right? It's just the, the, the blue collar worker, the average person that you know. And that's the broadcasting style that I have, okay? I'm just an average dude um, on the street uh, who learned about Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies. I like the idea, I like the concept, I like the philosophy, I like the technology uh, with the little under technical understanding that I have. And when I report back on it and share it with you guys, I'm just sharing it from the perspective of the average dude next door that happens to know about Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies, okay? So that's what my particular reporting or, or broadcasting style is. And that's the reason why you guys don't see me get too technical or too in-depth like uh, leonfood.com or like Jimmy Song uh, because those guys are real Asians, okay? Those guys know math, science, uh, computer engineering and all that stuff. I'm not. I'm not one of those real Asians that know math, science and computers and stuff like that, okay? I just know enough to turn on my Samsung S7 active phone and record these videos for you guys, okay? Um, the other... So that's the second uh, reporting style. Uh, the first one is the professional reporter. The second one is the um, is the uh, average dude next door, the average guy next door, the average girl next door. Okay, you're just your average guy. Okay, nothing special. All right. Now the third type of uh, reporter or journalist, right, is actually the reporter reporter personality. Okay. So these are the guys that. They, they're just reporting on what they hear and what they see, okay? So a good and the, probably the best example of that is that, that reporter... And you know what? I've been saying that these are a broadcast or journal or reporting styles. I should more say that it's the vlogging personalities. So the professional vlogging personality, the average guy next door or average girl next door vlogging uh, personality, and so the third uh, vlogging personality is actually the reporter slash journalist uh, personality. And the, the best example of that is a guy named Omar Bam. Uh, he runs the channel called Crypto with the number zero at the end of the word crypto. Instead of the letter O, it's the number zero. And you can find him on YouTube. Um, he has the most popular uh, news channel cryptocurrency news channel on the internet uh, it's probably one of the best in my opinion the best news channel period uh, it's better than Coindesk it's better than Cointelegraph it's you know what um, those guys need to write the articles and feed it to him so that he can uh, announce it to the rest of the world because he has a better style and he has a better way of explaining stuff that is much better than what a uh, coin uh, desk or coin telegraph can possibly do. Okay, so if I was coin telegraph or a coin desk, I would try to recruit Omar and lock him in, and, and and just have him report for them specifically. Okay, and I would pay whatever it was necessary to uh, buy him out in his channel out, and then just 
just have him uh, report on it, okay? So uh, that would be the perfect example of, um, of, uh, of the reporter, journalist, vlogging personality uh, is Omar uh, Bam, okay? Uh, from the crypto channel. Another good example of that is uh, Chris Coney from the Cryptoverse channel. He is also a news channel and, uh, uh, and, and, and he vlogs and he has that similar line of reporter journalist style, okay? So you can check out both of those channels and see their personalities and you can study how they are broadcasting and their personality styles and go from there, okay? Um, I would say that that one of the things that makes uh, uh, Omar's channel uh, the most popular news channel is because he's, both of them speak English, but Omar's channel speaks, uh, he speaks English with the American accent, which makes it easier for the rest of the world to understand, okay? So even though, uh, I think uh, Chris Coney, he has like a British or, or some type of European or Australian or Canadian accent or something like that and because of that it makes it slightly harder for people who have to learn English as a second language uh, for them to understand it so I believe that's one of the the, 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 the big things that makes uh, Omar's channel so popular is because he's broadcasting in English but he's using American English instead of uh, British or European or Australian English okay so that everyone around the world can understand it now the last and the fourth personality that is very uh, helpful, that's very good for broadcasting, but it's the one that I'm not very good at doing, okay, is what's called the David versus Goliath personality. And the person that is the best example of this is actually the Alex Jones uh, channel, okay? The Alex Jones channel is very good at this, uh, another uh, good one is the Bitcoin channel, which uh, 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 brother uh, John F. Uh, brother John is the guy that runs the channel. And the last time I checked, he was not broadcasting anymore. I don't know if he's he came back and broadcast on the channel or not, but he is a silver stacker. He's a precious metals guy, and uh, he has the silver channel. And then he also started the Bitcoin channel, uh, uh, and he's probably had the, like one of the oldest uh, running uh, Bitcoin channels and he's if you watch some of his old stuff you can see that he has that David versus Goliath the little guy versus the big guy Main Street versus Wall Street right uh, the little guy versus the bankers the little guy versus the individual investor versus the bankers the Wall Street the government institutions and things like that so those you know Alex Jones is the same way and they, they're always having this you know, conspiracy theory, or they always have these, you know, uh, things that, you know, um, a lot of negative press, they focus on a lot of negative press on how the government and the institutions and the banks are out to get you, right? So that's that's the David versus Goliath uh, mentality or personality. Uh, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm not saying it's good, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just telling you that that's uh, the four major vlogging personalities that you can adopt. Okay, uh, and then within those four uh, uh, vlogging personalities, um, you can also uh, have subsections of that. Okay, um, what makes it unique is that um, uh, what makes it unique and interesting on YouTube is that each vlogger that I see will will be one of those four major uh, personalities, and then they're also their personal personality also blends in to make it very unique. For example, like uh, Adam Meister, the Disrupt Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, right? Um, if you watch a channel, make sure you pound that subscribe button, make sure you pound that like button, okay? When you watch his channel, that's mandatory if you watch his channel, okay? And he has the Bitcoin uh, Meister channel, and he uh, also is also a, a, a guest uh, a vlogger on our channel, and we allow him to do that because he is a uh, he has a unique personality and he has a unique perspective on Bitcoin. And there's one thing that he does uh, most of the time. He and I do not see eye to eye about Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies because I believe in investing in all the cryptocurrencies, and he only believes in Bitcoin. 
okay? And recently, uh, especially in this year, 2017, he's starting to look at some of the top, what he calls the top tier uh, cryptocurrencies um, or the top tier altcoins. And, and to me, it's just another altcoin. Uh, I mean, um, so, but the reason why we allow him to be a guest uh, vlogger on our channel and share his ideas and opinions with our audience is because he is able to share his opinions without attacking a person. Okay, so if he doesn't like my idea, he will say that he doesn't like my idea, but he doesn't attack me as a person or anyone else. So if he doesn't like uh, 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 Jimmy Song's uh, uh, blog posts or ideas or, or thoughts or opinions about it, you know, he, do, he, he, he you know, states that he disagrees with it and his reasons why, but he does not attack the, the other person directly, you know. He doesn't critique the person, he just talks about their idea that he doesn't agree with, okay? So, uh, you do not want to become one of those people that attack other people, okay? Uh, there's a few bloggers out there in the cryptocurrency space where they, they love to get on and just make videos and attack other uh, uh, reporters, other journalists, other YouTubers, right? And call them scammers, call them pumpers and dumpers and, uh, and you know, uh, they accuse them of pumping shit coins and accuse them of doing this and that and all kinds of nonsense And I'm telling you guys do not waste your time going down that route Okay, that route does not build up your brand It does not build up your reputation and it does not build up your credibility in the cryptocurrency space It does not mean that you cannot have your opinions about someone else's ideas or someone else's uh, thoughts But you just don't want to attack that person directly Okay, uh, because that's and the other thing too is that uh, you don't want to get sued for defamation either. Because if you say stuff uh, online and you don't have the facts or the evidence to prove it, uh, make sure that uh, uh, you're careful with that because you can get sued for defamation of character. You know, uh, if I was uh, uh, a bad person, there's a, the, the, there's a couple of people out there that I can legitimately go and hire lawyers to sue their ass, you know, for saying stuff about me or Leon that is not true, okay? They have no facts and no evidence to, to make those claims, okay? But they do anyway, but we know they're just too retarded to know any better, so that's the reason why we don't do anything about it, you know? But anyways, uh, back to what I was saying is that just make sure that uh, that you, you uh, it's also important that you you select a personality that is you, okay? Like I'm just an average dude that's out there trading stocks and Forex and I learned about um, uh, cryptocurrencies and so I got into it. Um, I'm not like a Jimmy Song, I'm not an Andreas Antonopoulos, I'm not a uh, LeonFood.com, right? I'm not a technical uh, professional like those guys are, okay? Or I'm not, a, a, so that's why I don't talk in those terms and try to make it sound like I'm a professional when I'm not, okay? Um, so, choose the personality, and, and, and the other thing too that uh, I wanna share with you guys is that um, you will be trolled by a bunch of idiots, okay? There'll be stupid comments when you start your channel, and there's nothing that you can do about that, okay? There's really nothing you can do about that except just ignore the negative uh, trolls and the negative uh, um, uh, comments that people leave in in the beginning uh, what I would uh, suggest you do is the negative and the nasty uh, any any profanity towards me or towards Leon or towards any other team member we have or any guests that we have I remove those comments when I see them okay because you are entitled to your opinions but you are not entitled to verbally attack me or Leon or a guest that I bring onto my channel. I don't believe that you have the right to do that because if I was interviewing someone, like I've had people uh, uh, make really stupid comments about some of uh, you know, uh, 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 guests that I have on my channel and I know for a fact that they would never say something like that in front of my face if they were in front of me because I'd probably, you know, uh, 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 they would probably regret doing that, you know, uh, making a verbal attack against one of my guests 
uh, while I'm interviewing them. Okay, so they would never do that. They only do that online because it's it's anybody can be tough online, you know, uh, but not everyone can be tough in real life. So the majority of the people that that make those uh, troll comments or those negative comments, um, I really don't care. Uh, the only time that I remove them is when they make uh, use profanity against uh, uh, me or one of the guests. Okay, now. If they have evidence for what they say, then I would leave it there, you know, because I, I don't like to be the guy that censors people, okay? But I will remove you if you are disrespectful uh, on my channel because I don't allow that when somebody comes into my house or my vicinity and do that. So I definitely am not going to allow that uh, online, okay? So that's just my personal belief. That doesn't mean that you have to do that. Um, you can just choose to ignore it and not pay attention to it, okay? So... Um, this car just uh, stopped right in front of me. But anyway, those are the uh, uh, things that uh, I want to share with you. Uh, the other thing too uh, to consider when you're doing your channel is that one of the fastest ways uh, to build up your channel when you are uh, starting out, there are several ways to, uh, to start getting subscribers to your channel. Uh, without doing a bunch of foolish uh, and stupid silly stuff, right? Uh, our channel uh, got popular without uh, any, we got over 17,000 subscribers as, uh, uh, at the time that I'm making this channel and we did not have to pay for those subscribers. We did not buy YouTube ads or any of that nonsense, okay? Uh, that doesn't mean that we won't do it in the future when, the, when it's necessary, but right now we don't, uh, 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 we got this far without doing it and then once we have the time, you know, we might uh, grow the channel some more and get some YouTube ads and stuff. But in the beginning, um, if you want to do that, if you have the money to do that, you can. Um, you don't need to. The way that I would start a new channel right now, if I had to do it all over again, is that I would choose about 10 cryptocurrencies that I really like, that I can stand behind that I can vlog about and talk about uh, constantly. And I would make like uh, about three, four, or five videos um, on my thoughts and opinions uh, about that cryptocurrency, right? And then I would talk about it. And then what I would do is I would talk about it and I would go post it in that cryptocurrencies forum. So for example, let's just say that we take NXT for example. That's just the first thing that came to my head. If I was starting a new cryptocurrency uh, YouTube channel today, I would go to the NXT uh, forums and I would start making a few comments on there and then I would make a few videos about NXT and then I would post it in the forums first and get everyone to notice who I was, okay? And that way people can see it and trust who I am and then I'll start getting subscribers from the NXT community and then I would go to the next cryptocurrency and I would start making videos about Litecoin, okay? And I would, for example, I would go to Litecoin, I'd make some, you know, videos about, two or three videos about them, post it in their forum, make friends on there, in their forum, and then you'll get some subscribers there, and then go to the next one, like uh, Particle uh, just came out uh, a couple weeks ago, so I would go there and make some videos about what my thoughts on privacy coins are, what my thoughts on what the, the particle marketplace, how uh, it'll be a game changer or what, what I think it will do. And then after that, I would post it in the particle forums and get to meet the, the particle uh, community. So basically, excuse me, what I'm basically doing is I'm going around to each cryptocurrency project and I'm just building a community and getting to know people and letting people know who I am so that they can start I can start building a reputation online so that people can see me and trust me. And then uh, people, no matter, even if you start out with zero subscribers or 10 subscribers, if your information and your content and your video is worth watching and worth listening to, there will always be people that subscribe. There will always be people that will subscribe to your channel. So you don't have to worry uh, about whether or not um, uh, people uh, will subscribe or not. And you don't have to hide it. You don't have to go and hide the fact that you only have a hundred subscribers. Uh, there are some new YouTubes 
channels. Um, uh, they don't want people to know that they only have 100 subscribers or 500 subscribers. And so what they'll do is they'll purposely hide it, the, the number of subscribers, and then, um, and then wait until it gets over 1,000 or something and then uh, uh, and let, let people see that they have 1,000 subscribers. I, I don't think that's necessary. If you start out with 10 subscribers and then, you know, when people come back and they see that now you have 100 subscribers, and then a few weeks later they come back and they see you have 500 subscribers, they can see that your channel is growing and it's getting more popular. You, know, you don't have to like try to game the system and hide it. Um, just do it naturally and let, and let uh, the word spread that you're, you're creating quality content or content that's worth uh, watching, okay? Which one? 285 East, two miles. Okay. So that's what uh, I would do and then once I uh, uh, do that round, if you do that, you should start getting about 500 um, to 1,000 subscribers. Once you start getting past, like I think like three or 500, I think it's around 300 subscribers, right? Um, once you get past that, right, what happens is YouTube will start sending you more traffic and sending you more subscribers. Each time you graduate to a higher number, of, you get more and more subscribers, YouTube will give you more uh, uh, views and more subscribers to come to your channel. So just be aware of that. I think it's around 300 and then around 1,000, around 5,000, around 10,000, and around 100,000. So those are the tiers that you want to shoot for um, uh, that I remember. Okay? This one right here? Yes. And so that's, uh, that's what you want to keep in mind, guys. Um, so hopefully uh, this uh, video will help you guys uh, if you're new uh, and you want to get started in uh, learning how to uh, become a cryptocurrency vlogger on YouTube. Um, if you like these types of videos, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments in the comment section below. Uh, I know it's deviating a little bit from the cryptocurrency investing that our channel is known for, but recently we've just had uh, uh, quite a few people ask us about starting how to start a YouTube channel so I just wanted to make these uh, uh, this video just to share with you guys if you guys like it give me a thumbs up if you guys don't like it give me a thumbs down and I won't waste my time or your time uh, making more of these and uh, if you guys have any friends family or colleagues that are interested in learning how to invest in cryptocurrencies and um, uh, make sure that you tell them about our channel share this video with them and then tell them to, uh, uh, if you're new to our channel, go to www.cryptocurrency.market uh, slash newsletter and make sure you subscribe to our newsletter and we'll send you some new videos whenever we uh, make them, all right? So I'll, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys in a future video. If you have the time, you know, we might uh, grow the channel some more and get some YouTube ads and stuff. But in the beginning, um, if you want to do that, if you have the money to do that, you can. Um, you don't need to. The way that I would start a new channel right now, if I had to do it all over again, is that I would choose about 10 cryptocurrencies that I really like, that I can stand behind, that I can vlog about and talk about uh, constantly. And I would make like uh, about three, four, five videos um, on my thoughts and opinions uh, about that cryptocurrency, right? And then I would talk about it. And then what I would do is I would talk about it and I would go post it in that cryptocurrencies forum. So for example, let's just say that we take NXT for example. That's just the first thing that came to my head. If I was starting a new cryptocurrency uh, YouTube channel today, I would go to the NXT uh, forums and I would start making a few comments on there and then I would make a few videos about NXT and then I would post it in the forums first and get everyone to notice who I was okay and that way people can see it and trust who I am and then I'll start getting subscribers from the NXT community and then I would go to the next cryptocurrency and I would start making videos about Litecoin okay and I would for example, I would go to Litecoin, I'd make some, you know, videos about two or three videos about them, post it in their forum, make friends on there, in their forum, 
and then you'll get some subscribers there and then go to the next one like uh, Particle uh, just came out uh, a couple weeks ago so I would go there and make some videos about what my thoughts on privacy coins are what my thoughts on what the, the Particle marketplace how uh, it'll be a game changer or what what I think it will do and then after that I would post it in the Particle forums and get to meet the, the Particle uh, community so basically excuse me what I'm basically doing is I'm going around to each cryptocurrency project and I'm just building a community and getting to know people and letting people know who I am so that they can start I can start building a reputation online so that people can see me and trust me and then uh, people no matter even if you start out with zero subscribers or ten subscribers if your information and your content and your video is worth watching and worth listening to there will always be people that subscribe there will always be people that will subscribe to your channel so you don't have to worry uh, about whether or not um, uh, people uh, will subscribe or not and you don't have to hide it you don't have to go and hide the fact that you only have a hundred subscribers uh, the some new YouTube's channels um, uh, they don't want people to know that they only have a hundred so the example myself and um, and um, and um, leonfood.com right there are four different personalities that are available in broadcasting that I would recommend that you guys consider and um, I learned this uh, from one of my uh, uh, marketing uh, mentors uh, named uh, Frank Kern okay uh, and um, he said that there's four types of personalities that you want to use when you're broadcasting to get people to like you and trust you, okay? The uh, first person, and I'll give you guys, I'll explain to you what those four personalities are, and then I'll give you an example of each of them uh, so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the first personality uh, that's available in broadcasting or in journalism is what's called the... Um, the professional uh, journalist or the professional reporter okay so someone like uh, leonfood.com would be considered a professional uh, reporter or a professional journalist simply because he is a professional software engineer um, he used to work at like two dozen different um, uh, software companies and they pay him you know uh, a good income for him to create software for them as a software engineer. So when he talks about cryptocurrencies, he's talking from the perspective of a professional. So because of that, you know, people like him and they relate to him and they trust him. Another example of someone like that is the uh, the Asian guy uh, who's also from the city of Austin, Texas, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, is a guy named Jimmy Song who is a uh, Bitcoin core developer and he's very popular on uh, Mad Bitcoin's channel and on World uh, Crypto Network's channel uh, by Thomas Hunt. And his name is Jimmy Song. And he's been like the key figure that's been updating the community with explaining how SegWit and all the uh, uh, Bitcoin improvement proposals work. He's the guy that is very similar in broadcasting style as uh, my uh, buddy uh, LeonFu.com. Not because they're both Asians and they're both software engineers, okay? <laughs> that that would, on the surface, that would look like that would be the obvious reason, but that's not the reason, okay? Okay, the sun is uh, down far enough to and take these glasses off. I don't like making videos with glasses on, but anyway. So those two guys are considered like professionals. So when the audience listens to those two guys, they, they consider them uh, a professional reporters and journalists, okay? Now, the other, a second type of reporting style is what I, uh, is, is, is what's known a uh, journalist or the professional reporter, okay? So, someone like uh, LeonFu.com would be considered a professional um, reporter or repor a professional journalist simply because he is a professional software engineer. Um, he used to work at like two dozen different, um, uh, software companies and they pay him you know uh, a good income for him to create software for them as a software engineer so when he talks about cryptocurrencies he's talking from the perspective of a professional so because of that you know people like him and they relate to him 
and they trust him. Another example of someone like that is the uh, the Asian guy uh, who's also from the city of Austin, Texas, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, is a guy named Jimmy Song, who is a uh, Bitcoin core developer, and he's very popular on uh, Mad Bitcoin's channel and on World uh, Crypto Network's channel uh, by Thomas Hunt, and his name is Jimmy Song, and he's been like the key figure that's been updating the community with explaining how SegWit and all the uh, uh, Bitcoin improvement proposals work. He's the guy that is very similar in broadcasting style as uh, my uh, buddy uh, LeonFu.com. Not because they're both Asians and they're both software engineers, okay? <laughs> that, that would, on the surface, that would look like that would be the obvious reason, but that's not the reason, okay? Okay, the sun is uh, down far enough to where I can take these glasses off. I don't like making videos with glasses on, but anyway, so those two guys are considered like professionals. So when the audience listens to those two guys, they, they consider them uh, a professional reporters and journalists, okay? Now, the other, a second type of reporting style is what I, uh, is, is, is what's known as the, uh, the guy next door or the average Joe or the Joe lunch bucket right it's just the, the, the blue collar worker the average person that you know and that's the broadcasting style that I have okay I'm just an average dude um, on the street uh, who learned about bitcoins and cryptocurrencies I like the idea I like the concept I like the philosophy I like the technology uh, with the little under technical understanding that I have and when I report back on it and share it with you guys I'm just sharing it from the perspective of the average dude next door that happens to know about bitcoins and cryptocurrencies okay so that's what my particular reporting or, or broadcasting style is and that's the reason why you guys don't see me get too technical or too in-depth like uh, leonfood.com or like Jimmy song uh, because those guys are real Asians of personality okay so these are the guys that they, they're just reporting on what they hear and what they see Okay, so a good and the probably the best example of that is that that reporter, and you know what I've been saying that these are a broadcast or journal or reporting styles. I should more say that it's the vlogging personalities. So the professional vlogging personality, the average guy next door or average girl next door vlogging uh, personality, and so the third uh, vlogging personality is actually the reporter slash journalist. Uh, personality and the, the best example of that is a guy named Omar Bam uh, he runs the channel called crypto with the number zero at the end of the word crypto instead of the letter O it's the number zero and you can find him on YouTube um, he has the most popular uh, news channel cryptocurrency news channel on the internet uh, it's probably one of the best in my opinion the best news channel period uh, it's better than CoinDesk. It's better than Coin Telegraph. It's you know what? Um, those guys need to write the articles and feed it to him so that he can uh, announce it to the rest of the world because he has a better style and he has a better way of explaining stuff that is much better than what uh, Coin uh, Desk or Coin Telegraph can possibly do. Okay, so if I was Coin Telegraph or Coin Desk. I would try to recruit Omar and lock him in and, and, and just have him report for them specifically, okay? And I would pay whatever it was necessary to uh, buy him out in his channel out and then just, just have him uh, report on it, okay? So uh, that would be the perfect example of, um, of, uh, of the reporter, journalist, vlogging personality. Uh, is Omar uh, Bam, okay, uh, from the Crypto Channel. Another good example of that is uh, Chris Coney from the Cryptoverse Channel. He is also a news channel, and uh, uh, and 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 he vlogs, and he has that similar line of reporter journalist style, okay. So you can check out both of those channels and see their personalities, and you can study how they are broadcasting and their personality styles and go from there okay um, I would say that that one of the things that makes uh, uh, Omar's channel uh, 
uh, the most popular news channel is because he's both of them speak English but Omar's channel speaks uh, he speaks English with the American accent which makes it easier for the rest of the world to understand okay so even though uh, I think uh, Chris Coney he has like a British or I believe in investing in all the cryptocurrencies and he only believes in Bitcoin okay and recently uh, especially in this year 2017 he's starting to look at some of the top what he calls the top tier uh, cryptocurrencies um, uh, or the top tier altcoins and, and to me it's just another altcoin uh, I mean um, so but the reason why we allow him to be a guest uh, vlogger on our channel and share his ideas and opinions with our audience is because he is able to share his opinions without attacking a person Okay, so if he doesn't like my idea, he will say that he doesn't like my idea, but he doesn't attack me as a person or anyone else. So if he doesn't like uh, 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 Jimmy Song's uh, uh, blog posts or ideas or, or thoughts or opinions about it, you know, he, do, he, he, he you know, states that he disagrees with it and his reasons why, but he does not attack the, the other person directly. You know, he doesn't critique the person. He just talks about their idea that he doesn't agree with. Okay, so uh, you do not want to become one of those people that attack other people. Okay, uh, there's a few bloggers out there in the cryptocurrency space where they they love to get on and just make videos and attack other uh, uh, reporters, other journalists, other YouTubers, right? And call them scammers, call them pumpers and dumpers, and uh, and you know. Uh, they accuse them of pumping shit coins and accuse them of doing this and that and all kinds of nonsense and I'm telling you guys do not waste your time going down that route okay that route does not build up your brand it does not build up your reputation and it does not build up your credibility in the cryptocurrency space it does not mean that you cannot have your opinions about someone else's ideas or someone else's uh, thoughts but you just don't want to attack that person directly Okay, uh, because that's and the other thing too is that uh, you don't want to get sued for defamation either. Because if you say stuff uh, online and you don't have the facts or the evidence to prove it, uh, make sure that uh, uh, you're careful with that because you can get sued for defamation of character. You know, uh, if I was uh, uh, a bad person, there's a, the, the, there's a couple of people out there that I can legitimately go and hire lawyers to sue their ass you know for saying stuff about me or Leon that is not true okay they have no facts and no evidence to, to make those claims okay but they do anyway but we know they're just too retarded to know any better so that's the reason why we don't do anything about it you know but anyways uh, back to what I was saying is that just make sure that uh, that you coins and cryptocurrencies I like the idea, I like the concept, I like the philosophy, I like the technology uh, with the little under technical understanding that I have. And when I report back on it and share it with you guys, I'm just sharing it from the perspective of the average dude next door that happens to know about Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies, okay? So that's what my particular reporting or, or broadcasting style is. And that's the reason why you guys don't see me get too technical or too in-depth like uh, leonfood.com or like Jimmy Song uh, because those guys are real Asians okay those guys know math science uh, computer engineering and all that stuff I'm not I'm not one of those real Asians that know math science and computers and stuff like that okay I just know enough to turn on my Samsung s7 active phone and record these videos for you guys okay um, the other so that's the second uh, reporting style. Uh, the first one is the professional reporter. The second one is the um, is the uh, average dude next door, the average guy next door, the average girl next door. Okay, you're just your average guy. Okay, nothing special. All right. Now the third type of uh, reporter or journalist, right, is actually the reporter reporter personality. Okay. So these are the guys that. They, they're just reporting on what they hear and what they see okay so a good and the probably the best example of that is that that reporter and you know what I've been saying that these are a broadcast or journal a reporting 
styles. I should more say that it's the vlogging personalities. So the professional vlogging personality, the average guy next door or average girl next door vlogging uh, personality. And so the third uh, vlogging personality is actually the reporter slash journalist uh, personality. And the, the best example of that is a guy named Omar Bam. Uh, he runs the channel called Crypto with the number zero at the end of the word crypto. Instead of the letter O, it's the number zero. And you can find him on YouTube. Um, he has the most popular uh, news channel, cryptocurrency news channel on the internet. Uh, it's probably one of the best, in my opinion, the best news channel, period. Uh, it's better than Coindesk. It's better than Cointelegraph. It's, you know what? Um, those guys need to write the articles and feed it to him so that he can uh, announce it to the rest of the world because he has a better style and he has a better way of explaining stuff that is much better than what uh, Cointelegraph or Cointelegraph can possibly do, okay? So if I was Cointelegraph or Coindesk, I would try to recruit Omar and lock him in and see their personalities and you can study how they are broadcasting and their personality styles and go from there, okay? Um, I would say that that one of the things that makes uh, uh, Omar's channel uh, the most popular news channel is because he's, both of them speak English, but Omar's channel speaks, uh, he speaks English with the American accent, which makes it easier for the rest of the world to understand, okay? So even though, uh, I think uh, Chris Coney, he has like a British or, or some type of European or Australian or Canadian accent or something like that. And because of that, it makes it slightly harder for people who have to learn English as a second language uh, for them to understand it. So I believe that's one of the, 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 the big things that makes uh, Omar's channel so popular is because he's broadcasting in English, but he's using American English instead of uh, British or European or Australian English, okay? so that everyone around the world can understand it. Now, the last and the fourth personality that is very uh, helpful, that's very good for broadcasting, but it's the one that I'm not very good at doing, okay, is what's called the David versus Goliath personality. And the person that is the best example of this is actually the Alex Jones uh, channel, okay? The Alex Jones channel is very good at this uh, another uh, good one is the Bitcoin channel which uh, 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 brother uh, John F uh, brother John is the guy that runs the channel and the last time I checked he was not broadcasting anymore I don't know if he's bought he's came back and broadcast on the channel or not but he is a silver stacker he's a precious metals guy and uh, he has the silver channel and then he also started the Bitcoin channel, uh, uh, and he's probably had the, like one of the oldest uh, running uh, Bitcoin channels. And he's, if you watch some of his old stuff, you can see that he has that David versus Goliath, the little guy versus the big guy, Main Street versus Wall Street, right? Uh, the little guy versus the bankers, the little guy versus the individual investor versus the bankers, the Wall Street, the government institutions, and things like that. So those, you know, Alex Jones is the same way. And they, they're always having this, you know, conspiracy theory. Or they always have these, you know, uh, things that, you know, um, a lot of negative press. They focus on a lot of negative press on how the government and the institutions and the banks are out to get you, right? So that's that's the David versus Goliath uh, mentality or personality. Uh, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just telling you that that's. Uh, the four major vlogging personalities that you can adopt go along the way, okay? So, um, who should start a YouTube channel uh, and blog about cryptocurrencies? Obviously, it's people who have, a, uh, uh, that are traders, that are investors, or, or technologists, or reporters and journalists that uh, have an interest in cryptocurrencies and have a passion for it. And you would talk about, if you're the type of people that would talk about cryptocurrencies in a public venue and talk about it for free, even if you don't get paid for it, uh, you are the correct and right person to become a cryptocurrency vlogger 
on YouTube, okay? So, uh, in case you're new to uh, uh, vlogging uh, on YouTube, the word vlogging comes from the word video and blogging, and they combine it together. So instead of say video blogger, they just call it vlogger with a V, all right? So, um, so if you have a passion for cryptocurrencies and bitcoins and stuff like that, then it's worth your time. Uh, it would be worth it for you to consider uh, starting a YouTube channel. Okay. Now, what kind of video equipment do you need, or what kind of microphones do you need? I would recommend that you just start with your cell phone and nothing more. That's it. You start with your cell phone, and then you make a policy where uh, every 30 videos you'll upgrade to a new piece of hardware. Okay. So like. If you don't have a microphone right now, don't worry about it. Uh, start vlogging about, make some videos first that are, um, and then put it up. And then after you make the first 30 videos, then you can decide what uh, hardware or camera equipment or microphone that you need uh, to improve. You do not need to get crazy and buy all this expensive video and audio equipment. If you cannot, uh, create videos with your smartphone something is wrong that means you're just lazy and you're trying to be perfect okay uh, the key to success uh, on YouTube is what's uh, known as done is better than perfect okay uh, the idea that getting it done is more important than getting it perfect so if you want to become a vlogger you need to start making videos and share your ideas thoughts and opinions with other people okay um, and then after you do that then the second piece of equipment that I would get would be a wired microphone or a directional microphone a wired microphone is something like this okay um, something like this uh, this is a pretty decent brand um, it's not the best it's not the worst but it will work okay um, it